place here tomorrow. As you all know, 40 years of civil war, today Liberia can celebrate 40 years of sustainable peace. And this is the reason why you have come to support us and we want to use this time on behalf of the traditional queen of the land, Ambassador Julie Andy, who would like to welcome you to Liberia. Festival, and I'm here to, uh, to uh, campaign and uh, to let us know that uh, peace is, uh, is what is the uh, most necessary thing in this world. And uh, love to cannot, can uh, love each other without uh, making peace. So we 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 pray to God for us to uh, attend this peace and tomorrow is the peace festival day and uh, I'm happy to be here to join this uh, course. Thank you very much. Okay, Lagro like like just uh, had a few more days to the election and uh, we are discussing this. So what will be your message uh, to Liberia as it relates to the peace of of uh, about the election, yes, I mean, um, they, got, uh, they got plan as to come to pass, but I'm here for this campaign, this person. What would you think that you can do tomorrow? I, as a young man, as a philanthropist, I would uh, be advising uh, you to start doing it. How important it is to maintain peace and how important it is to keep this law that has been on since uh, I sight and we have the best people. So that's part of the reason why I'm here. Thank you very much. Churchill is here mm -hmm. and he was invited by Ambassador Andy to attend the Ecoach brothers and sisters to find us thank you. It's an important one. Some of your citizens died for us also. And if we are always grateful to Nigeria for what they've done and they've been our first chief of staff was a Nigerian general. And he served, and they have trained so many of our people. Even now, we have some people training with a collaboration with our forces. So we always look for, you know, personally, we also have some good friends there.
traditional queen, Madam Julie Endy, to officially, to officially introduce our guests. You all know that Sir Julie would have loved to be here, but because of the big problem that on her head, all of us, we are praying for her, and we continue to fill in the gap where she's supposed to be at a particular time. Those of us that believe in our cultural work, we decide to support her while she goes through an hour of bereavement. So today, I am pleased to introduce our guest. He's a son from Nigeria, born in Lagos, grew up in Lagos, and he's the owner of the big church, Heavens Limited. His company is a group of companies. There are five other companies under that one company. And so they are into IT technology, consultation, agriculture, entertainment, and most importantly, they are into charitable work. You know, in life, when God gave you so much, you must be able to give to the poor. And so under that serious company, he decided to add the charitable work onto it. And I think that is the best part of the company that our guests love so much. Most of the time, when you want to talk about the company, he says, stick to my charity. It's about charity. It's about giving back. And so I'm pleased to introduce him to you today. He has come to Liberia to support us in our peace work. So he was here for the Kuka Tono. He's been here since Friday. And we attended the Kuka Tono. And in his message, he said, Liberia and Nigeria are one country. That we have had over the years. The peace that we have, all of our brothers in the region, including Nigeria, has played a major part. And he was he expressed his happiness of being in Liberia. But this young businessman and a philanthropist and a humanitarian mm -hmm. have come to our city today. And he's visiting Kamara Town in Montserrat. Oh. So your son from far away that have come to see another land in Africa. Thank you so much.
They have one day for you. Nothing more happier today than what we have already done. So we want to say okay, thank you. And uh, you were here from then. I'm sure they will be willing to tell you something. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Then at this point, we will now have a statement of a destination by the day government. No, 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 no. Then of course, I would talk to some people. This day, again, remind me of the day Ekoma arrived in Liberia. That was the day Liberia and Nigeria began their sisterly relationship. To okay. so see somebody from the same background to come here today asking us, as citizens of this country, to say he wants to be with us or he wants to be part of us, there's nothing else we got to say except to say, my son, Thank you. Thank you. We are all one, and we're going to use the forum to ask you that the historical ties that have been existing between Liberia and Nigeria will be more strengthened by you, by connecting our traditional chiefs along with the traditional chiefs in Nigeria so that we all can become one. Amen. Your Honor, we are all one again to ask her for place. Even today you want to start living with us in Kamarata, we are ready to keep you. Amen. Your Honor, while you are giving your profile a whole symbol of agriculture, if you want 50, 100, 200 ever, we are ready to give it to you. <laughs> I am not saying we're going to leave for all the commanders from here. We're taking a step to the poor river. Commanders, from here, step to the poor river. We're taking a step to the poor river. Commanders, people, by the grace of God, the pharmacy, and the then governor, we, you are welcome, and we are overwhelmed. We got nothing else to say, but you are welcome. Thank you. <laughs>
member of this village. Then he asked me, he said, so when they get the land, the farm, what we do? And the people were in the town, yeah, only them will be on the farm, eh? I say yes. He said, they think what they're talking about land are for farming and so I say yes. Then he said, they farm here. You know, they're seeing people who are sitting here today that they don't want to be on the farm. I say yes. So it means that he get a good plan for the place. Thank you. Like our man said, he must go and come back. On behalf of the traditional queen of the land, Madam Julie Eni, we want to assure you that the villager here, he going to the place where he's born, he will come back. Wow. And when he come back, he will know that he's part of you. Mm. But while he's going, he say he want you to be thinking about him. Mm. So he asked me to get your those small small things that you see packed down there. He said that someone he love when he show you to tell you that he go to come back. Then he said, I want part and I want man and what come from the other side, the different country, what come? He said. For them to go back, you get 400 US. Mm. Yeah. Then, our people, they were here. Mm -hmm. That small thing was in a corner. Then he said he put 20,000 Liberian money. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 Do more, but the way you are getting enough time to go come back, you will go come back so you all can be in the time, you can be proud that you got one son that joined you. Thank you for the mentorship of these young people that are here. <laughs> <laughs>
that are into IT technology, they into consultancy, capacity building, training, and most importantly, they are into charitable work. So he has a foundation. He has a foundation called the Big Church Foundation, and that foundation caters to less fortunate and underprivileged, both male, female, and children. And so over the years, he has been working with the blind, he has been working with less fortunate and destitute. And you can see him wearing his yellow vest, he's a member of the Lions Club in Nigeria. And so, how far back the Lions Club of Liberia, you know them. And so we have come just to say hello to you. As he's visiting Liberia, you know a humanitarian, they say, the monkey can never be a blind and behind, yes, so? Uh -huh. So because he's a humanitarian, there's no way he can just come to Liberia, visit, and go. He decided to stop here and say hello to you. You understand? It's because you are very special. It's because you people are wonderful kids. We've been watching you all on Facebook Live. Enter Christine Taylor visitor, you are right? Yes. And me, I, I saw some people sinking. I know all the best thinkers here because I watch it. But we have come just to say hello to you and to know that you have a friend in Dr. Churchill. And Dr. Churchill, this is his first time coming to Liberia, but he heard about this center and he decided to stop by to say to Papa Kota and our mom, Patu, we want to say thank you so much for these children. Amen. The work that you do, it is not easy. Government cannot pay you. No. We are in service to humanity. I see my friend and brother Rale Fala here. Oh. You see, Rale Fala is on my constituency. Right. So, Rale, yes, yes. I want to tell you thank you for the mentorship of these young people that are here. <laughs> this is the reason why we are here. That's Dr. Churchill. So, at the count of three, you just walk like a lion. Because we don't clap for a lion. No, we don't clap. Because they are great people. Yes. So we got to change another way of honoring them. So, one, two, three. Raw. One, two, three. Raw. Thank you. Thank you. From Big Church Foundation, I'm the president. We are trying to look into what we can do and how we can partner with other organizations in Liberia so as to reach out to people here and uh, already I'm part of you, I'm your brother, I'm your father, and I'm your, I'm your relative. Think about empowerment. Uh, we want to appeal that uh, you consider uh, the donation of uh, some computers uh, to enhance our computer literacy program for the blind. Because that is a major aspect of our program here. There are other needs, well ranging from uh, building uh, construction, building maintenance, you know, uh, water facility, uh, we have what we we have we have a water tower, but we we do not have the capacity to pump water into the buildings. So the students as the same have to leave their dormitories to fetch water from the well. 
uh, we hope that uh, your ministry, your agency can consider, you know, empowerment in those areas for the blind as you go along. Again, we want to say uh, thank you for your visit with us. And uh, you wanna, if, you, if you are strong enough, we can take you on a guided tour. We also do our own agriculture, little agriculture project. If we look to the back, uh, we've been doing vegetables and other crops. We have more than uh, 400 planting and uh, banana trees in the back. We also used to do poultry projects for the blind, which we were selling on the local market. But when Ebola struck us, um, well, we ceased from, uh, you know, selling uh, eggs because, in fact, <laughs> nobody could sell during the Ebola crisis. Nobody could move. So all the chicks, the layers, they all died. We wouldn't have few, you know, uh, pigs left, which we normally slaughter and sell as an income generation to sustain the program. So we have a wide range of programs and activities for the blind. You see the music instrument, if uh, you know, God can lead you into that direction, we will also appreciate it. We need to strengthen our music industry for the blind. So thank you for taking over us, and Honorable Muna Young God, we want to say thank you so much for bringing uh, Dr. Church Hill to this, these facilities and to acquaint him with uh, the Center for the Blind and the Blind and the Blind Partially Sighted Students here. Thank you very much.
Olokune Churchill was born in Lagos, Nigeria. He is the chairman of the Big Churchill Heavy Limited. He is a business partner and a CEO of a Big Church Entertainment. Big Churchill Haven Limited is a tech firm that deals with IT solutions operating over 32 industries across four countries, Ghana, Nigeria, Switzerland, and UK. He is a renowned entrepreneur and a philanthropist. He offers humanitarian services to Africa and Big Church Foundation. His companies are involved in security, real estate, charity, agriculture, training, and consultancy. As a humanitarian, he focuses on providing quality education for the underprivileged children and also financial assistance to needed families. His service for humanity has landed him to supporting the underprivileged since 2002. Dr. Churchill, under his foundation, has raised about 100 million plus naira to support 1,667 1, projects in Africa. Festival Day that uh, sounds like Liberia is one of the uh, most peaceful country in the world. And uh, I really appreciate everyone. Here. So uh, I think with time we'll call Liberia home. That's second home from Nigeria. Just because uh, I see lovely people. I mean, everyone I've met, they, they've been uh, taking care of uh, me and my group. They are loving. They are cheerful and. Uh, Accommodating. I appreciate it. We are here to to uh, to donate and to give back to the community like we always do. I'm the president of a big church foundation. I own an NGO, but also a member of uh, Lions Floor. And Lions Club is a very big uh, service club. It's the biggest in uh, the whole world, which we have uh, up to 1.4 million members and more than 46,000 uh, district. So this is what we do. We we, we give back to the society, we look into uh, people's eyesight, blindness, and uh, also we, we take care of uh, the less privileged, which uh, I call them the special ones, because uh, God created them like special. So once again, I'm happy to, to be here today for this uh, ice screening and uh, to share love with uh, my people in Liberia so as to look into people's eyesight and uh, give them glasses. I'm doing this just because uh, coming to Liberia, I don't want it to be as if I just came for the Peace Festival alone. So I decided to check up on my people as a lion to donate these glasses. I appreciate everyone for the, the gesture and uh, the love. And now you've uh, taken care of us. But uh, it's left with one thing. What's that? The cassava leaf, yeah? We are, we are having that today. That's the only thing we're about to try. You see, but I really appreciate you, everyone, for the reception. So I'm going to do this. Uh, that, I just want to welcome you to Crusaders for Peace.
I want to welcome you to the Crusaders Peace Village. This is where we want the minds of young people. Crusaders for Peace has, was founded in 1994. Receive these glasses for onward distribution to the needed. So we say thank you, Dr. Churchill, thank you, Ambassador Andy. Thank you very much. You know, we act for the press with time, and so we're gonna walk up to the stage. I'm not just gonna jump up and call them right away, but believe you me, the song has been the song that has been played everywhere you go television stations, radio stations, and all that. Not that he can't claim it, but we wouldn't allow him to claim it. So I think it's okay if he performs from the. 
I want to say thank you. I want to say thanks to Queen City. I listen to me every Saturday morning on Truth FM 96.1. Queen City, thank you so much. I love you. Good, good evening to all. Kuka Tono, Kuka Tono. Together we stand, divided we fall. So say my discovery, Madam Ambassador Queen Julie and the No Shaking. This you with this, this you with this. Etu le 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 le, you mama le ye. Etu le 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 me muna, Jason we me muna, Jason we. Tu le tu le tu le tu le. Why you made your way here. We appreciate you, we say thank you, and we salute you. 
We want to recognize our sponsors. Without our sponsors, we will not be here. The Carter Center Access to Justice, the United Nations Mission in Liberia, UNO, National Elections Commission, our national collaborating partners, Women in Peace Building Network, WebNet, National Council of Chiefs and Elders of Liberia, NASEL, National Governor Council, Women NGO Sagittaria Wongosa, Women on the Move, WOMO, Young Ambassador for Peace, Federation of Liberian Youth, Faith in Jesus Ministry, Muslim Women for Progressive Alliance, Oral Contact Association, Citizen United for Justice. Acknowledge all political parties that have attended this event since, since uh, 12 o'clock today and acknowledge Madam Sita Sao, the final vice chair for administration, Mistress Mama Kabiliti, member Kukatona National Secretariat, Honorable Muna Pelon Young Blood, member of the National Secretariat, Madam Asatu Nibibu, member of the Secretariat, Honorable Musuke Thompson, member of the Secretariat. We also want to say thanks to the Echo Bank Liberia Limited, Afriland First Bank, Brussels Airlines, and our international guests, traditional leaders and artists. Our saxophonists from Nigeria, FBS from Ghana, Kalamamba from Guinea, and Jody, the lady that sang Kuchi Kuchi from Nigeria. For our local artists, we are very happy with So Fresh, Terira, Bench, uh, our own boy, the little flavor of Liberia. All of you, if I forget your name, the MCs and everyone, and the music, even the engineers, I put up this beautiful podium and stage. We are very happy we might not be able to remember everybody, and we want to remember the family of Selma and the Resource Center of the Blind, the Muslim Council, Imam Prayi, and the women that have come to make this day a success. Thank you. Thank you so much. Because next year when we ask you, you will say you are not to us. Thank you. So I think I have tried. Having said that, we need to run through this. We've been under this rain since this morning, 8 o'clock. We want to call on some of our artists. We have a star in our midst. We have our own movie star. And, know, and we know that she was once Echoas, Miss Echoas. She's going to walk the stage and say something to her about peace. And that's Madam Evelyn Fairley. She's in our midst and she's our own. Let's get it up for Evelyn Fairley. Then we turn it over now to the MC to do justice to the Liberian people. Madam Foreign Minister, officials of government here present, political party representatives, traditional and religious leaders here present, Ambassador Julie Endi and my good brother Piwi Flomoku, other distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Ambassador Ibrahim Kamara, the SRCC, and the AU. I stand here 
to congratulate you and commend you for this wonderful program. We all deserve a hand clap. Last year, we were here for the same mission, and it was all about peace. It is indeed important that we all commit ourselves to peace. That is why we, from the African Union, wish to continue to provide the support and solidarity that Liberia needs. As we approach the forthcoming wish all Liberians successful elections. Thank you very much. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, please permit me to welcome on stage Churchill, one of our international... And his name is Dr. Church Hill. Dr. Churchill owns a foundation that have worked and raised a lot of money for 162 projects across Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Dr. Church Hill from Nigeria. Hey, bro, Chris. Ambassador Judy for making me come to this part of Africa because I've never been to Liberia before and um, Nigeria is Liberia, Liberia is Nigeria and um, we're one and we're happy to join you anytime for any uh, peacekeeping movement again. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. sure that this country continues to be peaceful. I want to thank all of those who are here, party leaders, professionals. Julie, I just can say, I don't know how you come up with this, but you've been a wonderful gift here. As you continue to bring them here, we begin to build our own talent that we have locally, come from our neighboring countries. So I just want to thank all of you, everyone who has taken part today, including those of you standing there doing the video and everything. I want to thank you. God bless you. Let's continue to build this country. As we think Liberia, we love Liberia. Let's build Liberia for the betterment of our people. God bless you. Thank you. When you are fair, when all our people do to you, then you want to cry. 